Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Askar Nur. I'm from AG7. Okay, today I'm going to tell you about information question. Okay, you can see right here. Information question means that when somebody asks you, and then you need to give information. That's about information question. And then information question consists of question words. Question words we can abbreviate kiwi. And then many many question words that you, you, you want to use or you can use in making information question. The first is who, whom, what, which, whose, when, why, where, and how. Okay, there are nine question words that you can use. So in this in this moment, uh, I just want to explain you two question words. That is who and whom. You can study about who and whom, how to use who and whom, or how to make information question when we use who and whom. Okay, the first is who. We want to make information question by using who. First, we have to take one example in Indonesia. Uh, for example, I, no, 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 in, in Indonesia, saya, siapa, siapa yang memanggilmu? And then we have to translate in English, siapa yang memanggilmu? But before that, as we know that, in tenses, there are three patterns that we commonly use. The first is a positive pattern, a negative pattern, and interrogative pattern. Okay, now we want to translate siapa yang memanggilmu to in the English. Okay, but the subject is, uh, we take one example, for example, we use subject I. Uh, I memanggilmu, I call you. Okay, for positive pattern, and for negative pattern, I not call you. Okay, next interrogative pattern. Do I call you? Okay, before that, when we use who, it means that we ask about some subject. Subject. And then the subject is person. Okay, you can see right here there are three patterns positive, negative, and interrogative. Okay, the, the requirement of using who, okay, who we supposed to tell us she, he, and it. She, he, and it. And then we have to choose right here one pattern that we can use when we use who. And when you want to use who as subject and ask, uh, asking about person, you have to use positive pattern. Okay, well, positive pattern. Positive pattern. Better. And then we want to make or we want to translate siapa yang memanggilmu into English. So the first we have to know, uh, we have to ignore siapa yang. We have to ignore siapa yang. And then we have to translate memanggilmu. Okay. Right here I will, I will write down here. Memanggilmu. Oh, you. Okay. It's the first. We have to ignore siapa. Okay. And then the requirement we have to use positive pattern. Positive pattern right here. We have to use positive, positive pattern. Uh, remember, positive pattern. Okay. And then 
I will have to put subject here. Okay, as we know that, uh, as the explanation before, who we can suppose who as she, he, it. Okay, we put right here she. Okay. Or you may use he or it. And then, remember, she, he, it is a subject. And then, if you put right here or is that a verb, you have to use verb uh, singular, singular verb. So, you have to add s or es here. We put s here. She calls you. She calls you. And then we want to change. Uh, for example, siapa yang memanggil, memanggilmu? And then we want to translate. So, you just need siapa in English, who. So, you just need to erase she, he, it, and then change it. Who. Who calls you? So, that's about siapa yang memanggilmu? Who calls you? And then we use positive. Right? Calls you. And then we change who calls you. Okay, that's about the using of who. When you ask about subject. Okay, so the next. Okay, I have explained about who. And then the next is whom. How to use whom? Okay. Uh, I will give example first. Uh, just now, we gave you example about siapa yang memanggilmu. And then, now, siapa yang kamu panggil? Okay. We can see right here the difference between between who and whom. Okay, when we we want when we want to use whom or use whom, whom asks about object, asks about object and person. Okay, person right here. Okay, uh, I take one example again. Okay, we use a pattern. There are three patterns here: positive, negative, and interrogative. Okay. Uh, for example, she. Calls you. Now we use she right here as a subject. And then she does not call. You and interrogative does she call you? Okay, as we know, then we have talked about who uh, before, and then now the use of whom. Who. When we use who, so we use positive pattern but in whom when you want to use whom you have to use interrogative pattern in tenses interrogative pattern okay remember interrogative pattern okay siapa yang kamu panggil you want to translate into english with whom okay why why would we say Siapa yang kamu panggil? Is ask, asking about object. Because right here we can see kamu. Kamu is subject right here. So we just need object. Okay, right here. Let's see. And then we ignore siapa yang. We ignore siapa yang. We just translate into English. Kamu panggil. Okay. You call. Okay. Uh, Right here, uh, we use the subject she, so that, uh, I'm sorry, we have to change right here uh, to be, okay, we use it. She, okay, we use she right here. Okay, remember whom, when you want to use whom as about object and person, we use interrogative pattern, we use interrogative pattern, but, 
uh, let's see right here, there are positive, very positive, negative, and interrogative. And then we, we choose interrogative when we want to use whom. Okay, she called right here. Oh, sorry. Here. Uh, and then, does. Put right here, does. We just need, okay, we want to use whom. We just need right here. Uh, remember, does she call you? Okay, siapa yang dia panggil? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, answer here, this mirror. But right here, we have to uh, you here because we ask about object. Okay, that's the difference. We ask about uh, object here, so that we don't need to put you there. Does she call? Okay, I should call right here. Uh, remember here, and then we need to object right here because we ask about objects, so we have to delay or erase here you. We don't use you here. Erase you here, and then we put whom right here. We put whom right here, and then we try. We we uh, let's say we write in other ways. Okay, whom? Okay, the means is you want to say siapa yang dia panggil. Okay, it means that in English you have to say whom does she call? Whom does she call? We use interrogative pattern. Okay, the difference between who and whom. Okay, okay, the next. In this uh, opportunity, we, we just explain two negative, take two question words. It is who and who. And then now I will give conclusion about the using of who and whom. Who and who. Yeah, when we want to use who, who asks about subject, right? Asks about subject. And then whom asks about object. Object. All of them is percent. And then remember the requirement. When you want to use who, you have to add there are there are three patterns in tenses: positive pattern, negative pattern, and interrogative pattern. Remember when you want to use who, you have to use positive pattern. Positive pattern and you have to suppose, and then you have to suppose who, say was she, he, and it. Okay. There are two requirements when you use who. Passive pattern and who you have to suppose as she, he, it. And then whom, about whom. We ask about object, and then the pattern, when you use who, the pattern is positive pattern, and then whom, interrogative, interrogative pattern. Okay, uh, we, we try to combine or compare, yeah, we, have to, we have to compare first. In Indonesia, okay, there are two sentences here. Okay, I have explained before, and then we need to translate. Siapa yang memanggilmu? The first sentence we have to use who, who you because the the requirement was the better and we suppose who are she, he, so then we have to add as here who calls you and then siapa yang kamu panggil so we have to use who who and then the requirement interrogative pattern so whom do you call Okay, thank you very much.
for uh, for this opportunity. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.